Hey everyone, Ken Soska here, Technical Support Analyst at BMC Software. Today I'd like to talk a little bit about one of the keys to track a success, and that is how to notify multiple technicians when a work order is created in TrackIt. Uh, one of the most common scenarios that we see uh, from our customers is they want to set up kind of like a, a triage system where multiple technicians are notified when a work order is created, uh, and then the appropriate technician can either assign the work order to themselves or it can be assigned to them by someone who maybe manages that triage. All right, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna press our handy F9 key to go into the administration console and track it. Uh, we're gonna go down under lookup tables, administration, technicians, and we're gonna click add to create a, a new technician. This is gonna be uh, kind of like a, a dummy technician uh, it's never going to log in to track it. Uh, it's never actually going to work on a work order. It's just going to represent uh, the group. Uh, we're going to call it the triage group in this case. So I'm going to use one that I created ahead of time. And it's called triage group, uh, just to show you what I did here. Uh, so the name is triage group. Uh, we don't need really any of this in here. We don't need a username and password because this account this technician is never going to log in to track it. It's never going to be assigned uh, a work order that it's actually going to work on. Uh, same thing with Win Windows authentication. Don't worry about that. You might want to put something in the comments here just for you know someone else who might come along and need to know what this is all about. Uh, then we're going to go to the notification tab and we're going to enter an email address. Uh, now, in this case, I'm showing you the best way to do it. The best way to do this is to set up a distribution group in Exchange uh, or have your Exchange admin do so uh, with all of the technicians that you would like to receive these emails as a member of that distribution group. Uh, so Trackit is going to send an email to the distribution group. Now, we do see occasionally customers will uh, put a semicolon after that first address and then put another address and a semicolon and another address, kind of put their whole group in here. Um, it works sometimes. Uh, it doesn't really work all that well. Uh, there are a lot of things that can go wrong. Uh, some email servers have limitations on the number of characters that they can accept here. So uh, you'll get chopped off after one and a half email addresses, something like that. Um, also, with a multitude of email addresses now associated with the work order, uh, track it can have a hard time determining uh, who to send messages back to, uh, all kinds of stuff like that. So do yourself a favor, do it the right way, uh, make a distribution group in Exchange and put that email address right here. I'm gonna go back over to the General tab here to show you something very important also. Uh, back on the General tab under License Type, you'll wanna choose None for the License Type. You don't have to use a license just for this basically email account is all this is really gonna be. Uh, like I said, this technician will never actually log in to track it and work a ticket, so you do not need a license type. Once that's all set, you want to click Save. And there we've got your technician. You'll notice uh, there's no username. That's fine. There's no license type. That's fine. So in this situation, I'd recommend making the triage group your default technician and track it. Um, you can do that with your default skill routing policy, um, or you can just set it in a work order. Uh, but now you'll see when a work order is opened and it's assigned to the triage group, if you go into the audit trail, uh, when the work order was opened, you can see an email message was sent to the triage group distribution list. So all those technicians that are in that group would get the notification. Um, then, you know, you can set up everything really however you want it from there and they can take the ticket on their own or it can be assigned to them etc. Uh, here the user was also notified. That concludes this video and this key to track its success. Thanks for watching.